Hi, in this video we will learn how to build a trades heat map like this one uh, using uh, trades information from a PubNav streaming source. You can follow the guide yourself by going to the examples tab and selecting the PubNav streams to trades heat map example. You can try it even if you don't have an account, just go to app.instadec.com and click try it now. The first thing we need to do is to create a PubNav source. We are going to use the default settings, which has uh, some synthetic market order, order string. Just click in apply. We can see that each update is an individual transaction. So uh, to make the chart, we need to accumulate uh, the most recent trades. So for that, I'm going to create a new card and select the accumulate card type. I can either drag and drop the fields I want from here or to make it faster, I can click on the query press holder and select add all. Now, as you can see, the card is accumulating the most recent trades and the most recent ones uh, on the top, and it will keep uh, the last hundred according to this eviction rule. You can change the eviction rule by going to the magic wand and selecting one of the examples or by um, manipulating the eviction rule yourself uh, manually with the formula editor like this. So now we have the trades. We want to keep the last uh, trade for each um, symbol and trade type. So I'm going to create a group by. I'm going to use the bid price and select the last accumulation. And I'm going to group by symbol and trade type. So this way we have the last trade for each combination of symbol and trade type. We can create our heat map. I'm going to create a chart card and I'm going to chart um, bid price last by symbol and trade type and by default the chart will be a stack bar chart we are going to select the heat map from the options available and we are almost there um, we can play a little bit with settings and remove some margins and maybe if we want we can change the color and uh, when we are ready we may want to sort by symbol and trade type so that uh, the values on the X and Y axis are always in the same order. And we can see how it will look like uh, when shared by clicking here the read only mode. And we can also share it and get a URL we can share with other people depending on the access uh, conditions we put and um, they can access via this URL and see it working. In this case, I'm using the trial session, so this URL is going to be only available for me, but in case you have an Instadec account, uh, you can share the URL, and if the permissions are right, the other person can see your shared chart or dashboard. So this was how to create a heat map with trades from a streaming source using PubNav, and if you have any questions, just uh, comment in the comment section below. Bye.